Alright guys, so today I actually checked out Dragon Ball Minus, and as people say, it's not that good. But guys, I kinda liked it, but I gotta say, the Bardock special was better in my opinion, it's a better story. But guys, this story was also really good as well. So in Dragon Ball Minus, Bardock and one other Saiyan, they were on a mission, and suddenly they got an order from Frieza to return back to planet Vegeta immediately. And that goes for all the other Saiyans as well. And as you guys have guessed it, the main reason for that is Frieza was scared. Frieza was so scared about the fact that one day a Super Saiyan would emerge. And also something else and that is a Super Saiyan God. And if you guys are confused about why Super Saiyan God was mentioned here in the Dragon Ball Minus manga, that is because Dragon Ball Minus came after Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods. And everyone that was a part of Frieza's team and also inside his spaceship they told Frieza that it is just a legend, that it will never happen, but Frieza knew better. He knew that one day this would eventually happen if he did not take out the entire Saiyan race along with the planet. And with that guys, he did not want to take any chances. So he made his plans to take out the entire Saiyan race all at once. And when Frieza ordered all the Saiyans to return back to planet Vegeta, one Saiyan got very suspicious and that is Bardock. And Bardock immediately felt the presence of death coming soon. And when Bardock returned to his village in planet Vegeta, he asked about Redis where he was. And then Jinnia told Bardock that Redis was with the Saiyan Prince Vegeta on a mission. Then both Bardock and Jinnia were talking about their baby son Goku who was still inside the Saiyan baby incubator and suddenly Bardock said tonight he's going to steal a Saiyan space pod and Jinnia was immensely shocked because she was wondering why would Bardock steal a Saiyan space pod? What is the reason behind that? Then Bardock said he was going to send off their son Goku to a far off planet and Jinnia did not approve of that idea. She was very angry at Bardock. Then Bardock said it is for our son's safety and he told Jinnia about what he is feeling inside. He feels that Frieza is up to something and Frieza is going to eradicate the entire Saiyan race. So at night with the help of Jinnia, Bardock stole a space pod and he got ready to send his son out to a far distant planet called Earth. And Gina asked Bardock, why can't we all just get away from here? And Bardock said, they will eventually find us with their scouters. And after that you guys, both Gina and Bardock said their final goodbyes to Goku. And after that, there was a departure of Goku onto a new planet called Earth. And also guys, in the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie trailer number 2, we also seen Bardock and Gina as well and Bardock was very suspicious of Frieza so with that at night he sent out his son Goku out of planet Vegeta with a heavy heart Bardock says his final words to Goku and he tells him survive no matter what and guys I could tell that even as a child Goku still had an understanding that the man that was in front of him was his father Bardock and the woman that was in front of him was his mother Jinnia. You can see the sadness on young Goku's face and also guys he has tears in his eyes and guys we all know what happens next. Goku lands on this new planet called Earth and as a man is walking by he hears a child crying and guys with that he finds Goku and guys after that we all know how Goku was. Grandpa Gohan had a very hard time controlling Goku. Goku was all over the place breaking and destroying things but guys as we all know one day something happened and that something changed Goku forever. One day there was a big accident and guys with that Goku injured his head and guys after that Goku changed forever. He became nice and caring towards Grandpa Gohan and also guys with that he forgot the memories from before. He forgot the memories of his parents Bardock and Jinnia. Another thing is not many fans like the story of Dragon Ball Minus. They all prefer the story of Bardock special which was Bardock the father of Goku. And the main reason why I think they're animating the Dragon Ball Minus storyline that is because they don't think all the fans have seen and read the Dragon Ball Minus manga. And that is actually true because not many fans 
I wear off the Dragon Ball minus manga. And with that guys, it is very easy for the producers of the Dragon Ball series to actually implement that story into animation form in the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. So what do you guys think about this right here? So not many fans like the story of Dragon Ball minus. They prefer the Bardock special. Now guys, what if they actually do both stories at the same time to keep the fans happy? And that is just like in the original story in the Bardock special where Bardock got the powers to see the future to see how Frieza was going to destroy the entire Saiyan race. And the fans love that story very much. Now guys, what if they do this here as well and that is by actually implementing both stories together. So in Dragon Ball Minus, as Bardock was in a mission, Frieza ordered all the Saiyans to return back to planet Vegeta. And from the looks of it right now, this is also going to happen in the Broly movie as well. So what they could do is before Bardock leaves whichever planet he was on with the other unknown Saiyan, before they leave, Bardock could actually get the powers that he got from the original Bardock special and that is to see the future and after he gets those powers he's able to get visions of the future the visions of his destructions the visions of the entire Saiyan race being erased by Frieza and also with that guys he makes his plans to send out his son Goku out of planet Vegeta because he knows what is coming. And also guys, in the Bardock special, we even got Frieza's and Bardock's face-off at the end before Planet Vegeta's destruction. Now guys, I feel like if they don't actually put the scene in the actual movie, then the fans will get very, very angry because fans all over the world, they love that scene. So once again, what they could do here is pretty much bring that scene back for the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. And that is face off between Bardock and Frieza. So after Gina and Bardock sends out Goku out of planet Vegeta onto a new planet called Earth, Bardock should try to warn the Saiyans about the destruction of planet Vegeta by the hands of Frieza. And just like in the original Bardock special, the Saiyans should not believe what Bardock is saying. Instead, they will think that he is crazy. And nobody else besides Gina believes in Bardock, while Bardock is actually sane. So now guys, the whole entire Saiyan race survival is on the shoulders of Bardock. And we all know what happened in the original story. Bardock stood no chance up against Frieza. But before Bardock's death, he was actually happy. Because his son still lives on. He got the vision of his son Goku standing in front of Frieza and going into battle with Frieza as well. And guys, I feel like if they don't put this scene in the actual Broly movie, then the fans will get very angry. But guys, let's see what will happen. The movie is coming out really soon. I'm really excited for it. I'm pretty sure you guys are as well. Anyways, you guys, that is about it. That's all I have for you guys today. So do let me know what you guys think about this and comment down, down below. And if you guys have enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. And if you guys want more videos like this and also the latest news about the upcoming Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, then guys, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Anyways, once again, you guys, thank you all so much for watching and have a blessed day, everyone.